James, I think the game tonight turned on the changes you made at half time. I mean, you sent the players out early, you changed to a back three, you changed to a front two, and Scott Spencer came on. It, it made a world of difference. Well, it, was a, it was a difficult game to plan for because we obviously were missing a few players and we had to shuffle around. Um, but I just, I just thought the nature of the game that we, we, we don't have fully fit players in, in Scott um, Spencer and Adam Thomas. so. We, we wanted to try and use the be both of them in different ways. Mm. Um, Adam Thomas looked unfit, and Scott even looked unfit second half. But but that goes to show you that you know the effort we put in the second half, and we still got more to come from certain players. So I was pleased with the second half. But tactically, you changed it, and that seemed to really open the game up from your perspective, didn't it? Yeah, I think I, th I think it's a simple principle to just put more pressure on the centre halves. I think we've we've looked a little bit disjointed up front. Um, you know, I mean. Josh works really hard, but doesn't really bring other players into the game at the moment. He's got you know a little bit to learn on that. Um, Adam Thomas did okay, got a few crosses in, but we still don't know where to be and how to balance off. Um, I just thought we needed to play one more player further up the pitch, uh, use the um, full-backs as wingers, um, and get them as high and aggressive as possible, and uh, I think it paid off with the goal. And the goal, what a goal, what a header from Scott Duxbury. And it, he had the licence then to get forward, didn't he, having got that wing-back role? Yeah, but, um, it, but you know me for being analytical, um, uh, Sam Minahan's in a great starting position um, and wins the foul. Mm. Um, and then we'd obviously get ourselves in a, a nice aggressive shape and if you like, you're going, I don't know, three, two, one, four, or whatever we want to call it, uh, with the two centre forwards right up against the centre half, full backs pushed in. And, and there was always going to be a little bit of a chink because uh, uh, it took them about 15 minutes to change and then they started using a winger at full back on mm -hmm. one side and a full back as a wing back on the other. So, um, And the poor kid, McDonald, he's not there to defend, he's there to, to get on the front foot and uh, uh, we pegged him back um, and he was found wanting for the goal. It was a great comeback and you could see the response of the supporters here tonight, but probably more than anything, it was great entertainment, wasn't it, in that second half? Yeah, and I, I was really disappointed because we got we got ourselves going, got the goal, and, and then all of a sudden we started de-energising ourselves by overhitting yeah. balls and, you know, we just need to show a little bit more control, a little bit more composure at the right time, maybe run it out, maybe play balls cleverly into feet or into good spaces, dead balls as I call them, mm. make them defend, give our players something to chase after. Um, but, but for about 10 minutes we sort of kept giving the ball away and they, they were happy to slow the game down and try to take the energy out of the crowd. But uh, as I said to Leslie, you got the crowd going tonight and that was all I wanted from the second half. We got ourselves back in the game, um, with a touch better quality in the final third, um, we might have even got the winner. And tell us about the psychology of sending them out early as well for the second half. Well, I think in a couple of games we've we've started the um, especially Alfreton at home um, warm evening. We've kind of started very sluggish, um, and I wanted us to be really up for it. I, I think it's too long. By the time the players traipse off the pitch and the referee has his cup of tea, fifteen minutes. I mean, I remember the days when it was only ten minutes, but for some reason they got the fifteen minutes. Why I don't know because so, uh, physiologically it's proven that players go cold in that period and. Um, especially when it's a cold night and you're coming in warm and getting cold. So the idea was just to get them out, get them sort of really uh, sort of warmed up and motoring before the game started, the second half started. And um, like I said, um, whether it works or not, I don't know, but um, I'm sure they'd be better prepared f physiologically for the game um, and maybe psychologically uh, for the second half if they're out there, uh, like you said, waiting to go and warmed up. Seven points out of 12. Would you have settled for that, do you think, at the start of the season? It looks a good return. Yeah. You know, I'm disappointed with the defeat. Um, perhaps you know, if we got that right, um, second half we may have got something. I mean, we've hit the post, and um, but no, I'm, pl I'm pleased enough. I mean, to start with two wins is great. Uh, to play um, away games back to back and to get something three points out of the two away games is great. Um, to remain unbeaten at home is great. So um, what we need to do now, though, is, is statistically we need to beat Brackley to get 10 points out of five and get that two points a game that's going yeah. to be required. Um, you know, I don't know where we are in the league, but it looks it look OK in terms mm. of seven points as a big bunch, but we need to turn over results. And um, like I said, uh, from our perspective, this is a good point tonight if we can get a win on Saturday. 
In terms of injuries, Scott Duxbury obviously came off early. What, what's the problem with that? It's the same issue he's had. He's got a bit of a dead leg and we've had to treat it occasionally as a, a sort of a grade one tear. Um, and if he overextends himself, I think he had an ear shot on um, Friday night. Um, so I was pleased he was fit, especially with Smalley being ill. Um, obviously we knew about Kay. Um, but like I said, the squad, squad's OK. A bit top-heavy in terms of attackers and wingers. But, you know, we've got a bench where we've got players who need to get going, need to get find some way of getting them fit. Um, obviously we've got Adam Thomas tonight, 45 minutes, Scott Spencer. So they, they're getting there. There's more to come from them. But, yeah, we need to manage Scott, make sure we get, get him fit for... Um, for Saturday's game, I think it'd be an important player for us. Um, but at the moment, we're, we're coping well with a few injuries we've had and still mm. getting a performance out of the players. And just finally, you mentioned Brackley there. Um, they've been beaten tonight, but that's only the second time they've lost in six months since you went there and beat them with the, the goal from Obi back in February. So uh, anyone thinking it's going to be a walkover is, is probably wrong. No, and um, you know, people thought I went to Halifax on Saturday. It was a, out of respect to um, Brackley, I went to Fylde to watch them. and. Um, they were very unfortunate to win the game. Um, they play a, a certain system, so we have to be really well prepared. Um, they're comfortable and they're possession-based, uh, so they don't waste the ball. Um, they got a little bit of pace up front, so it, you know, in many in many regards, it's going to be a tougher game than Halifax at home because the owners are asked to win the game. Uh, they might try and use the crowd against us by a bit frustrating us. Um, so what's important for us is is to really turn up the heat really be aggressive in the way that we play, get the first goal and then see how they respond to that. It was a great comeback tonight, enjoyed it, well done. Thanks so much.